This is Marie Curie, the woman who gave us the words radioactivity and discovered two elements. She was the first woman to win a Nobel Prize and the only person to win in two different scientific fields. But was she a fearless genius or a martyr to her own ambition? Born Maria Sklodowska in Poland in 1867, she moved to Paris, driven by her passion for science. There, she met and married Pierre Curie, and together they began a series of groundbreaking experiments. Working in a makeshift lab, they investigated the strange rays emitted by uranium. Their tireless work led to the isolation of two new, highly radioactive elements, polonium, named for her home country, and radium. Their research not only earned them the 1903 Nobel Prize in Physics, but it fundamentally changed our understanding of matter. After Pierre's tragic death, Marie's life took a dramatic turn. Alone, she dedicated herself to her work, facing not only the immense challenges of her research, but also intense public scrutiny. The xenophobic press sensationalized her personal life, and academic elites questioned her achievements. But she persevered. In 1911, she was awarded the Nobel Prize in Chemistry for her isolation of pure radium. She was a woman who refused to be defined by her personal life or the societal expectations of her time. During World War I, she developed mobile X-ray units, saving countless soldiers' lives on the battlefield. Her discoveries laid the foundation for nuclear physics and changed medicine forever, from tumor treatments to medical imaging. However, her unwavering dedication came at a high cost. She worked for decades with highly radioactive materials without any safety precautions. She died in 1934 from aplastic anemia, a direct result of radiation exposure. Her notebooks remain so radioactive they are still stored in lead-lined boxes. So how do we remember her? As the scientific genius who defied a world of doubters, or as a tragic figure who sacrificed everything for her work? What do you think? Get involved in the comments.